When I learned how to play the guitar, my teacher taught me two of those and how to expand them, allowing me to play all of the notes up and down the neck using my first and third fingers. That was really helpful because it was easy to see the patterns and my first and third fingers, they're my strongest fingers, have the most dexterity using those two fingers. I can get the most speed. Uh, I use my third finger to bend. So I really was able to move quickly and start playing lead a lot faster than I feel that I would have ever been able to learn. And in the beginning, that's when people tend to get discouraged and quit. So I think this is really a very helpful way to look at the guitar when I'm getting ready to show you. Learning all five patterns is great. It gives you an overview because when we expand, we're pulling from those other patterns. So let me show you what two patterns I use and then how I expand them. So of the five patterns, I'm gonna pull out pattern one and pattern four. And I call pattern one my E minor pentatonic root six because the root is on the sixth string. Okay, and then an octave higher. So my E minor pentatonic root six, and it's in its basic form because I haven't expanded it yet, okay? Now, the other pattern that I use, I call my E minor pentatonic root five. This is its basic form because I haven't expanded it yet. So we have root six and root five, E minor pentatonic in their basic form. Let's expand them. Now when I'm at the end of the neck, obviously I can't expand any lower because I run out of neck. So I can move up. All right. I'm gonna give you an overview and then we'll come back and break these down. So my root five, I'm gonna move those two notes down here because playing with my pinky up here, I'm just not gonna get any speed out of that. But I will out of this. I'm gonna move that note up here. Then an octave higher, my root six again. But in this case, I can expand it. I'm gonna move that note down here. I'm gonna move those two notes up here. One more time. Now, let's back up and break this down. Here's my root six E minor pentatonic. And to expand, I'm covering this much of the neck. Here's my root five E minor pentatonic. To expand, I'm covering this much of the neck. Then here's my E minor pentatonic root six. And to expand, this much. So I'm covering the entire neck as I expand it. This is my first of those five positions. And when I expand, I'm going to move up into the second position for my top three strings. That's why it's good to have an overview of all five, because that's what you're pulling from. You'll be pulling from, uh, if this is position one, you would pull right behind it from position five or above it in position two. Here in position four, 
as I expand down here, I'm pulling from behind it from position three and moving through four up to position five. Okay. And then here, back up to my position one again, I pull from right behind it or below it. Position five, move up through one and up into two. 